Take this branding thing seriously. They put tape on your headphones there. You, you, you can't wear those. Huh? Uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, hate the logos. <laughs> Talk about this fight, Stevie. We know the journey that you've taken to get here. I mean, is this kind of an emotional fight after everything that you've been through? Is, is it kind of an emotional uh, opportunity here for you? Uh, if we're going to say emotional, I would say just emotionally happy. Like, uh, that's one thing about this fight camp. I've been happy pretty much the whole fight camp. Um, even fight week and stuff, even though I'm, you know, I'm always looking forward to the weigh-ins and uh, carb depleting and stuff. But, um, yeah. The, the one difference between this camp and my last camp is I hated my last camp. Like, during the whole camp, obviously you're trying to be positive and stuff, but I just I, I, I just came off. Uh, I went over Joe Lozon and jumped straight back into fight camp because it was Scotland. Uh, I, I think I rushed back too, in it, too, uh, too quick back into it, um, and I just hated the whole fight camp, uh, the dieting, the, the training, and... Uh, yeah, but with this one, I've just been happy the whole camp. Very nice. What's the focus been like for you between the last fight and now? I mean, knowing that your career was a little bit, you know, up in the air. I mean, were you able to train? Were you able to stay focused? Were you able to stay sharp that whole time? Yeah, well, um, because it was still pretty much my full-time job anyway. Um, I mean, I wasn't a fight training um, in between, but you're not really wanting to be fight training when you don't have a fight anyway. You want to be learning. Um, so yeah, I mean, for a little while I, after the Felder fight, I was open about it. You know, I had a bit of depression, uh, felt a bit rubbish, wasn't sure what was going on, being limbo with the UFC, uh, kind of went into that dark place. But and then, you know, after a wee while, I seen the light at the end of the tunnel. I started getting uh, in my happy place again. I, I started coaching uh, my own club, Braveheart MMA. So I was pretty much coaching uh, some classes per week and doing all my training during the day. So still making sure I was, you know, evolving, getting better. Um, and then I almost feel like from coaching I've become a better fighter as well. Uh, going over some of the techniques, you know, thinking about it a little bit more. Um, and I've I've really enjoyed the. I feel like maybe in the past I've overtrained, like training far too much. Um, and I, I think that's why any short notice fights I've always done well. Um, like my UFC debut was only two weeks, Pearson fight was four weeks, Lausanne fight was six weeks. Anytime I, I get a fight like 15 weeks out, I end up uh, just training too much, I think. So yeah, this, this fight camp, I've been training hard, making sure I'm doing all my training with the good guys, doing a bit of coaching, having fun, and uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed that. I imagine, I mean, you were wanting to step back in, you were wanting to get that new deal, so I imagine you would have taken pretty much any fight, but is there anything about this fight, about the matchup itself, that you like? Eh, uh, nah, not really, to be honest. Any, any of the guys, I mean, me and Kedjian have trained a bit together. Uh, I think the last time we trained was maybe three years ago, so it was a while away. Um, but, nah, to be honest, at the end of the day, you know, F Felder was the same, you know, we, we were respectful before, after it. I respect Kate. I was speaking to him in the hotel the other night, uh, speaking about you know his whole spearhead project thing and um, CBD. We're both taking the CBD oil, um, so we spoke about in that. And uh, but at the end of the day, Saturday night, I'm gonna try and knock his head off. Um, we'll get a drink after it and whatever maybe. But uh, when the cage closes, um, I'm making sure that I remember I wanted kill this guy uh, regardless of you know I made a wee bit of a mistake with Felder I feel I liked Felder too much um, I felt almost felt sorry for him like because his dad had just pied, passed away and stuff so um, yeah like I, I'm making sure I'm going in with this mindset like I'm going to try and kill you um, and you know I, I'm, I'm looking to make a statement I'm letting my frustration out all these past seven months um, so I'm looking to put on a show and then after it, we can be friends again.